Uh, one of the people uh, made a comment on my disappearing objects phenomenon video that uh, basically uh, he was happy that I tried to solve the problem. First of all, you can't solve the problem of disappearing objects phenomenon because there are people that basically believe mystically stuff disappears. Okay? They're the same type of people that believe we didn't go to the moon, the earth is flat, you know, uh, the Mandela effect. I kind of joke about the Mandela effect. There's all these people that are creating all these problems, but my mother used to say it best. They're scatterbrains. They would lose their head if it wasn't attached to their body. Okay? But now, what's happening is, uh, in the old days, they were scatterbrains. They would, you give them milk money, they put it in a pocket that had a hole in it. Or a pocket that was too shallow and the money would come out. Or when they got in school, it was a dollar and they couldn't find it because it was in, in the pocket in such a way they couldn't find it. But as growing up, you had these friends that were like this. They were constantly losing stuff. And I would say something, and my mother would say, they would lose their head if it wasn't attached to their body. Now, this is coming from the person that couldn't find her nail file. And this was a, a running gag in the house. She would just go off on you, and because she was manic depressive, she'd go off on you. You took my mail, my nail file, and you're sitting there watching television. Go, oh, here we go again. No, I, I, I show her my nails. I said, look, I said, there's dirt under my nails. I haven't, yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a slob. I didn't use your nail file. Get, that's how I would get rid of her. Okay, so she dies, and you would never go through her drawers or any of her stuff. She'd go through your stuff, but you'd never go through her stuff. So you go through her stuff after she dies. And in, in every little novel that she was reading, she would hold her place with a nail file. Uh, there were 30-something nail files that I found. Uh, a lot of it was the drawer that she dropped the nail file in. It would hug the inside, uh, the front inside would be the front cover of the, of the drawer. It would hug it and go down into a slot between the two pieces of wood. And there would be two or three down in there, in the front and on the side, the one side. And, and I'm pulling them out, and I'm laughing to myself. And then she had um, plastic cases that she had, like, cosmetics in. You'd open that up, and down underneath stuff would be two more nail files. Okay? That's where they really went to. But if you had hit my mother with the disappearing objects phenomenon back in those days, she would agree with you. Yeah, stuff just disappears on me. All right, now, let's get to the... Crooks of this, what what are these things? This is a ratchet wrench. And you say, well, gee, John, I know what a ratchet wrench is. This is a, an earbud for a, a cell phone. Um, this is a, 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 basically, it goes on a ratchet, and it's got a Torx thing. And you say, what does all this have to have? And a, and a cable, another, another um, socket. What is this? Oh, this is the stuff I picked up. These are other people's disappearing objects. Okay? Now, you say, well, where did I find this? I can tell you exactly where I find it. There's a crossing area between Ollie's and my neighborhood. And you got to be careful there with cars. And a lot of people will, will run ahead of the car. Instead of waiting for the car to go by, they run. And when you run, these things bounce out of your ear. Okay? And you're so distracted by the car and your bags and everything, you don't notice this fell out of your ear. Uh, normally these get ran over. I found one the other day. I'm thinking, you know what? Let me show you some of the stuff I find. Now, I used to clean the streets. I did a video on it. Uh, I did it for 15 years. Uh, I got written up for my mailbox post not being painted enough. And meanwhile, the neighborhood's like, anyway, I got annoyed. I said, you know what? Screw them. Let everybody pick their own crap up. Let them, let them walk around in crap, okay? But this is just... This is just a sample of what you can find. Now, if you go right over there now to the parking lot of Ollie and Gabe's on South Oak Road in East Lampeter Township and walk that parking lot, you will find money, pennies and nickels that have been ran over a million times. Uh, you'll find a lot of, a lot of uh, patch cords, and they're all ran over. And uh, if George, I actually know the guy that cleans the parking lot. If George doesn't clean the parking lot, uh, by hand, 
a lot of this smaller stuff stays there. He uses a billy goat and he goes around and he cleans. Okay. So I just figure, you know, I start thinking about this disappearing objects phenomenon and my mother had it. They're scatterbrains. All right. Now, did you ever have a friend that when you get in this car, it's so sloppy in there that when you open the door, stuff falls out. Go over to Ollie's and Gabe's. That's what that stuff is. The people getting and putting packages in their car are fighting with the stuff that wants to get out of the car. And you say, well, no, they're there. They exist. These people are, we won't say they're mentally ill. They're very busy. They never clean anything. And when they lose a, a, a patch quarter, they just buy another one. And then they lose that one. And then they buy another one. If I lose something, I go freaking crazy. Okay? The first thing I do is I go sit down and calm down. And I'm saying, when did I throw it out? I go through this thing and I go back. And I might have put it away in the wrong place because I was in a hurry. And I told you, uh, one time I, I had a, uh, this favorite scribe. And I had a bunch of me pieces of metal in a box. And I was cleaning up the bench real quick. And the scribe went in with the metal box, the metal pieces. And I really wanted that scribe. And that scribe disappeared once before. It ended up going in a book for uh, a marking a place. Guy calls me up. Uh, he asked me to go look for something for him. I look it in the book. I put the scribe in the book to hold the place. I put the book near the phone. He calls me back. He tells me he doesn't need it. I don't even have to open the book. I go down. I put the book away with the scribe still in it. Uh, I did that with one time with a pair of tweezers. Okay. I can. I have a really good memory. I can remember all the times I screwed up, but where the part actually ended up being. And there was absolutely a reason for why it was where it was. I put it there. It didn't disappear. I don't believe in any of that. Okay. I know the earth is round. There's, you know, you're in school in third grade and they teach you um, Magellan. Was it Magellan that went around the world? Well, anyway, uh, there's people that run around. Oh, the earth is flat. And they try to explain to you how the satellites are orbiting a flat earth. It's, I, I just avoid all those people now. The people that don't believe we went to the moon, I avoid that. Because guess what? The Chinese went to the moon with a robot. And the first thing they did was drive over with the robot to the area that we landed on to make sure the stuff was all still there. Uh, I guess in the interim, Spielberg has moved the stuff actually to the moon, huh? Uh, this, this stuff's getting crazy. People are distracted. They're worn out. They're tired. They make excuses, okay? Now... Uh, there are people that keep losing stuff. Like the one guy said he keeps losing the one um, socket. And that's because these son of a bitches roll. Okay? And if you bump it, of course, you know, I'll bump this and it'll go three inches. Okay? Let's bump it. Yeah, it hits something. Me in the frame even? That's another thing I have problems with, being in the frame. But you can bump this on a good day. And if the bench isn't level. Oh, I know what's wrong with this one. This one was from the Ollie's parking lot. And it's got all scratch markets in it because it got ran over. I don't know why I brought it home. I brought this home. You know, and it's got some scratches from being ran over. But the person, oh, my ratchet wrench just disappeared. Disappearing objects phenomenon. Oh, uh, my ear, my earbud just disappeared out of my ears. Yeah, okay. And then, like I said, my mother had the saying for it. If their head wasn't attached to their body, they would lose it. I mean, mom. Someone took my mail, my nail file. Oh God! And I was so like, as, she, as she's dead, and I'm going through her stuff, and my father really didn't want to go through her stuff. He's still like, you know, like she could come back to life and he scream at him. And uh, my sister uh, would not come over. My mother left everything of hers to her. My sister, but my sister would not go through the stuff. She just wanted certain items, and then we brought them over to her. Okay. And then when my dad died. Uh, he left stuff in his will to me, and my sister didn't even want to help me, okay, clean the house. I don't look, I, I, the first 10 seconds, we go into the bedroom, and she goes, I can smell his body odor, and she left on me. That was it. Psh, gone. <laughs> yeah, I've gone through a lot, and I sit there, and I, I have all these memories, and I piece them together with people that keep losing stuff. Now, I told you, I lost a roll of duct tape. Before Kmart closed, I went in Kmart one day and had this giant roll of duct tape. All right, and I was talking to the salesman. I said, man, this is a really big roll of duct tape. And um, he said, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good, it was like $9.95. It was a really good price. It was really good quality. 
uh, the, the weather I try to take a name of the company they make weather stripping well anyway for maybe Frost King it was like a really good roll of duct tape and I used their product before I knew it wouldn't dry out or whatever so I buy it I lost it and I'm pretty sure it was out on the yard sale I'm back outside I had it outside to hold to, to tape up some signs real quick and it either rolled down the driveway and somebody clipped it or somebody just clipped it now it is possible that when I cleaned up from the yard sale that somehow it, it was in a box and I threw the box out uh, but I know it I know it didn't go into the mystical vortex of, of products but I'm telling you go to any parking lot that's not cleaned every day because some of these parking lots are cleaned every day and walk around and see what you find and you find these earbuds broken open okay and I know what they look like when they're broken open you find a lot of uh, vape uh, pens vapor pens and the, the refills uh, when I walk along because I used to clean the neighborhood I would look at something and then uh, I would bring it home and look it up see what the hell it was and uh, the vapor the one vape uh, refill actually looked like a flash drive or a thumbnail drive and I brought a few of those home to look them up to see what they were and uh, but I don't clean the neighborhood anymore but when you clean the neighborhood you find this stuff and I, I just throw it right in the bag I don't even keep it uh, the kids lose the I don't know how they lose it it's got a, an orange dot on the end of it the uh, Nerf ammo the long tube with the with the orange tip they're all through the neighborhood I picked them up put them in the bag the kids shoot them they don't even pick them up okay and then there's always a basketball or two floating around the neighborhood nobody claims it bicycles okay I stopped trying to find the owner of the bicycle uh, oh and here's a, here's a story <clears throat> I'm cleaning the neighborhood and I'm down in a big gully and a guy comes up to me and he goes uh, my son is a real he's really stupid I said what's the matter he says I just bought him a ball and a mitt for for his birthday and he really didn't want it so he says uh, if you come across it uh, you know I said yeah I just point to your house I'll bring it to you so I go walking and I found it the kid the kid basically hit it he didn't want it see if you so I bring it back the kid the, the father made the kid come out and and take the ball and the, and the glove and the kid was you can see the kids like son of a bitch I gotta I gotta hide it better the next time you know but I found it uh, they, there's kids here uh, they play with a toy and uh, for a few minutes and it's it, it just lays there and uh, we have these transformers on the ground and I put the stuff on top there and if it's there the next time I clean the neighborhood it goes in the garbage but they play with stuff and then they don't want it and uh, you know parents will say what happened to that I don't know I don't know yeah I, I, I oh I, I gotta tell you this story <clears throat> when I was a kid we had this girl in the neighborhood that lose her shoes and the parents would go nuts <clears throat> and uh, at one point they had a reward for her shoes and I kept thinking maybe it's an older person that's creepy that wanted her shoes she didn't want to wear the shoes so I got a feeling she didn't put them in her garbage she put them in somebody else's garbage that's the theory I got to finally because I did a pattern sweep sweep of the neighborhood several times and I never even found as much as a shoelace and I even checked the digging areas where the kids would dig and would play with the dirt maybe she buried them in there but we never found the, the shoes okay and they could have been hidden somewhere in the house uh, I don't know uh, but over the years I'm sitting there thinking about this stuff that you know things disappear uh, guy calls me up he says uh, I got to do a video shoot tomorrow uh, I lost the cable so he comes over and I make him a cable and then he goes to Burger King after he leaves my house and uh, he gets home and the cable's gone so when he opened the door and he's got one of them messy cars he lost the cable so then I made it he comes back over late at night he's rushing me and I'm, I'm digging up the pieces I make the cable and he goes home next morning I get a phone call you won't believe what happened I just hung the phone up on him and he called me I said I'm not making another cable well I, did, I, I said I don't know I find one of the other cables I didn't want okay so you're you're you, you everybody talking about this DOP stuff uh, I start sitting there thinking and I'm like you know what I had those people around me I don't know I don't know my father the, with the I told you he had the, um, the dustpan and br the dustpan and brush and we had one in our house and it hung on the cellar top of the cellar stairs and we had it for many years 
It disappeared. My mother bought another one. It disappeared. But, and then my mother said to me one day, don't let your father have the dustpan and brush. He'll, it'll disappear. Disappearing objects, Mama. So I come into my dad's workshop, and he's down on the floor, and he's got the dustpan and the brush. And he's brushing it, the brush, the dirt onto the dustpan. He comes up. He's talking to me, and he drops it in the garbage. And I said, you just threw the dustpan. No, I didn't. I thought he was kidding around. I honestly thought he was kidding around. I said, no, you just, and I'm pulling out. He's doubling down. He's looking at me like he's a zombie. Like, I didn't just do that. And then I caught him doing a couple other things in the house. Uh, something was going on there with the, uh, as he was getting older. But yeah, oh, it just disappeared. Well, I don't know. I don't know you. I don't know how unorganized you are. I don't know how sloppy your car is. But I'm going to tell you, if you go over to Ike Gabe's and, and Ollie's right now and walk the parking lot, there's at least three patch cords that are all run over and they've been there for weeks. And you don't see earphone uh, anymore because they don't have a wire on them. But there used to be earphones over there uh, ran over. And that's why when I would clean in the neighborhood, I used to look at stuff and uh, say to myself what is that i make like a game as i'm picking the garbage up but these earbuds normally get ran over this one i think this is for um a galaxy phone and uh because there's no name on it but i did find it on ebay and it's a it's a replacement for a galaxy see it's a replacement because they've already lost the original one <laughs> yeah and these things by harbor freight um i stopped bringing these home these are sockets with a torx on it uh, a lot of, um, uh, what are they call uh, uh, pneumatic tool adapters, they're in the parking lot. Oh, and then the Gabe's and Ollie's, the people, they go shopping and they put the packages on top of the car. Okay, picture this. And they drive off the parking lot and then the package falls on the ground. It gets ran over by other cars. And one day it was a, a kid's, a complete set of kids clothing, the pants, all with tags still on it. And I left it there. I left. I said, you know what? I just cleaned this neighborhood yesterday morning, you know, and then <laughs> it, 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 that's that's a common thing. People come out of Ollie's and Gabe's. The stuff's on the roof uh, in New Jersey, in Nutley. Uh, there was a church and uh, on Harrison Avenue. And I'd come down here on Sunday morning. There people would be bullshitting with each other and they put their uh, Bibles and stuff on the top of the car. And then when they drive off, the stuff would go all over the street. And I'd pick it up, and one time I ran after the car, and I gave them their Bible back, and they looked at me like I was crazy. So I didn't do that anymore. Uh, and then the other day, I'm talking to the, the mailman, and we're talking about cell phones, and he he has to put mail in these bins, the or these these mailboxes. He says, yeah. He says, he says I find phones on the top of the mailbox all the time. He says I leave them there. I said, yeah, I'm doing the same thing. Don't get involved. I said I found one. Uh, the, the person kept calling the phone, calling the phone, calling the phone, but they wouldn't answer. I answered it and they wouldn't talk. So finally, I'm screaming at the phone. To, hello? Hello? I said, yeah. I said, I found your phone. Oh, I lost it in Ollie's. No, you didn't lose it. And now she's arguing me. Well, she met. I met up with her and her girlfriend. And they, they insisted I found the phone in, in Ollie's. I said, look, I'll take you to where I found the phone. And uh, I showed him. She says, oh, this is where my bag broke. I said, yeah, you set the phone down to redo the bag oh oh yeah yeah i found her phone in ollie's okay so that that was the beginning of i don't touch a phone when it's on the on the ground i don't touch it i don't want it i don't want them looking at me telling me where they lost it when they didn't lose it there I, i'm tired of the the game they play with me i took their phone on them so uh i'm telling the mailman he's saying he leaves them alone they don't get involved he's just because they can track where the phone is so anyway next morning Okay, this is the crap that I complain about. Next morning, I'm walking along, and there's an Apple phone in the grass in front of a house. And I look up at the house, I go, oh, I know that guy. He's night shift. So I figured he'd come in nights and dropped it. So I go over, and it's, I didn't even try to turn it on. I just start knocking on the door, and I know he's got dogs. And I get the dogs barking, and I know he's home. And I kept it up and kept it. Finally, comes down, he's half asleep. You woke me up. So I hold the phone up. I says, is this your phone? No, it's not my phone. I said, okay, go to walk away. He goes, hey, get this one. It's my son's phone. Well, it's your freaking phone, technically. So now, see, that's how you, it's not my phone. You woke me up. 
no, but it's my son's phone. Oh, yeah, thanks a lot, pal. Then I just, like, turned my back on him and started walking away. And I, I'll say his name. Bueller. Bueller. Dave Bueller. Yeah, I can see my neighbors. He did a video. He said your name. Bueller. Yeah, that was pretty funny. Oh, woke me up. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a brand new freaking phone. Okay. Uh, I thought it was just a cover when I first saw it. But you got to remember, I don't have a car. So I walk everywhere. And I find all these uh, disappearing objects uh, as they come through the vortex into the street. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, uh, I'm busy right now. I'll put the stuff on the roof of the car, load up my trunk, and then I get distracted. And then I drive away and all the stuff falls off the, the, the car. Then when I get home, somebody must have stole my stuff. I think that's it. All right, that's it.